Encryption code required. You have 30 seconds to comply. Security clearance complete. Proceed to military intelligence emergency briefing. Today we're taking a look at 5 mods for Alert 2, Yuri's Revenge, that you need to try in 2022. Most of these mods were present in my older videos, but enough time has passed and some of the mods have received major updates, so it's time I update my suggestions. I'm not doing in-depth reviews of these mods, just a quick overview of each and the mods are not set in any particular order. So the first mod in the video is not necessarily the best. I did however include the user scores from ModDB. First up is the Flipped Missions mod. It's exactly what it sounds like. It reimagines each mission from the vanilla campaign so you can replay it from the other viewpoint. Sometimes the missions feel familiar, sometimes it takes an unforeseen approach to mission design and it's more fun and challenging for it. Sadly, the missions is all there is to the mod. Rise of the East is a mod that adds China and Gilei factions from CNC Generals, and it does so in a way that feels fun and balanced to the other factions in the game. You can play the first three campaign missions of each of the two new factions. It does add new units or reimagine some of the vanilla factions, so there are changes to the Soviet, Allied and Yuri. Sadly the mod is still a work in progress, with a lot of more content, missions, promised and for some reason the Reller 2 campaigns that you could play with the mod in earlier versions are now missing. I really love the Red Alert 2 XX mod. It redesigns the sub-factions for the Allied and Soviets by adding multiple new units. The new units, maps and the better and harder AI give this mod a unique feel and it's a joy to play. The only two gripes I have with the mod is the size of the infantry when playing at 1920x1080 and that there are only Allied and Soviet factions even though it's a Yuri's Revenge mod. Mental Omega, the mod for Alert 2 Yuri's Revenge. There's ton of new content. Factions completely redesigned from the ground up with new structures, units and powers, new campaigns, new faction, over 100 missions to play, 36 missions in co-op, new modes, new maps, new visuals, new soundtrack. The only downside of the mod is that the sheer amount of content can be overwhelming and the length of some of the missions. Some missions might take you over 2 hours on the first playthrough.
A lot of work has been done on Final War in the past year. The factions and sub-factions are reimagined. Three sub-factions for Allied and Soviet, one for Yuri, and there's even a new faction to play as. They've added a couple new modes to play, including a few challenges or co-op missions. The AI is also much better than the vanilla AI. Again, the size of infantry is an issue I have with this mod, and this game mechanic where you can buy access to different tech trees in-game. By doing that you lose some of the units you can build, but gain others mid-game. I found it confusing, but some might like it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, Commander.